Well, what I've got here is a Siemens Sidetop Power 40 um, 24 volt switching power supply. This particular one is capable of 24 volts at 40 amps. And this is on our um, Zimmerman FZ45 um, 5 axis machine. It was in one of my other videos from a couple of years ago where I did the uh, HMS on it. Or I had a short video doing the HMS. And this failed. We, If you watch that video, you'll see where there, had, there was some major damage from several major wrecks on that machine. Well, we finally slowed down enough now that um, within the past couple of weeks me and one of the uh, Zerman service guys disassembled the z-axis and also the removed the c-axis from the z and um, repaired it and got it back together but in the meantime once we did get everything back together and tried to start this thing up well this uh, Siemens power supply went bad which I think <coughs> Hindsight's 2020, but I think this has been going bad for quite a while, long before we touched this machine, and nothing that we did caused this. We checked all the wiring and cabling, made sure we didn't get anything pinched, and it was just basically on its way, way to failure. But anyways, thought I'd show you a couple of things. I already have this thing disassembled and everything. I thought I'd show you a couple of things that I found on it. Um... They've got these transient voltage suppressors. They look like diodes, and they kind of are, but they're not. Um, got two of them connected together as a bi-directional TVS. Um, one's the uh, BKE 400, and the other one's a um, or 1.5. What am I say? 1.5 KE 400, and the other one's a 1.5 KE 350. And these are dead shorted. These went, if I remember right, I think these went from, where'd they go from? I think the uh, the drain of the MOSFETs to the switching transformer. And uh, they were dead shorted. Um, the MOSFETs themselves were good. Flip over the back side though, I've got a whole row of, I think they were, if I remember right, 33.7 ohm resistors burnt right into the circuit board, which is kind of disappointing because I was hoping to um, repair this power supply. These things are really expensive. And I actually, we keep um, a Sola. 24 volt 50 amp switching supply on hand all the time actually two of them because we have um, four CNC machines that take this style of switching supply so this really isn't repairable there's a whole line of not only resistors surface mount of course but also surface mount three terminal devices and I have no idea what those are and it'd be absolutely impossible to get a print and I'm sure this board is multi-layer I know it is because you can see it and there's just no way I'm going to be able to repair this thing now but interestingly also what I found um, the input bridge rectifier was perfect I mean here the kill deer jabbering behind me I did a video on that earlier and the, all four of these MOSFETs on the input were good but on the uh, actual 24 volt output we've got this happens to be a Darlington power transistor and I've got three um, power Darlington arrays and of those three the center one is dead shorted all three terminals As you can see uh, how much heat was generated by those resistors because this think mounts somewhat similar to this over those heat over those resistors and 
it melted the heat, the portion of the heat sink in. I'm not sure what happened there, but um, so this unit's junk. But I just thought I would show it. Up. Looking at this, comparing this to the solo one that we normally use, they don't seem to have quite as much input protection here. There's quite a few, I mean, they've got the NTCs and some mobs and calling mode chokes and everything, but it seems like on the input, the actual power input on the uh, solo supply, there seems to be a lot more components doing a lot more things than what happens on this um, semen supply. So I don't know if that's why this thing failed. This is about, I'm going to say that machine was installed in 2008, so it's, I guess it's getting to be six, seven years old. But we usually get 10 years out of the solar supplies. So I don't know, it's probably reached the end of its cycle. There's one more in that machine that is probably going to fail. I'm thinking about maybe talking talking about um, talking to somebody about replacing it before it happens but right now we happen to be really slow there and they're not wanting to spend any money on anything so which is really rare for for that shop to actually be slow and I'm actually surprisingly not even working overtime except for when I disassembled this machine but I, don't know, I just thought I'd show a little bit of this and Thought somebody might be interested in it.